What is up, everybody? It is your boy Fire. Thank you once again for tuning into another video. Shout out notification squad. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a simple technique that I have utilized for quite a while to really help enhance cheaper sounding condenser microphones. I think uh, one kind of um, characteristic that really hurts all of us is that brittle high end, that brittle treble. You know, if you're having trouble. Uh, you know really smoothening out your vocal mic then this trick is definitely going to help you out especially in the long term uh, you know you're going to find that you're going to be EQing less and uh, you're just going to have a much smoother sounding vocal so definitely stick around for that uh, I've got this uh, vintage Halle Sketchy vocal effect man rest in peace Halle Sketchy cool dude really wanted to hear more music from him but this was a track that uh, I did a while back that was inspired by his style and uh, I was using a cheaper mic, I can't remember what I was using, if I was either using the Blue Spark, which is a, I think it's around $120, $30 mic. Uh, it's certainly not cheap, but it is in the lower end of condenser microphones. But I was really, you know, looking at this old session and thought, man, it's pretty cool what I did, um, you know, in regards to these three effects that we'll be running through. So, you know, if you are looking to enhance your mic, stick around, I'm going to play the track and then I'll disable it. And uh, then we'll just kind of bounce, you know, and look at the theory behind what I've done. So hopefully you can apply this technique to your own uh, material. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. When I'm pouring up, you know I crack the seal, yeah. A hundred drills, you know I gotta keep it real, yeah. My gold room for the Louis and Gutanas. I'm sipping juice, but I don't ever want no vodka. Counting hundreds up, I gotta make a meal, yeah. Point swag, free agent, fuck a deal, yeah. She keep calling, she keep calling, she keep calling The money calling, money calling, money calling Money calling on me, I got hella racks Louis Gucci, yeah, I bought my girl a Gucci bag I'm still flexing on my ex, look at all these packs so there you go, you can definitely hear the main vocal more, I should have played it from around here. But you know, if you really pay attention to the vocal, you can kind of hear it kind of moves in the high end. It sounds a bit smoother uh, with these three plugins added. Uh, EQ really can't do this. This is something that, uh, you know, a blend of these plugins will really help in regards to the top end and the bottom end. It kind of gives it this tape effect. So, you know, what we have going on, you know, for those who are long time subscribers, I'm sure you know the style, but uh, it's ready to add a reverb first, and then a flanger effect and then a bit of chorus if needed generally i would go for these two but you know i already wanted to go overboard with this kind of soundcloud style um you know what i mean track so we've really gone overboard and that makes it a great example so you know bit of reverb as you can see when we look at how much wet or actual reverb we put into the track we can see it's literally not more than eight percent usually so that's the first thing you want to create a really small reverb room sound okay so basically anything that's under you know as you can see right there 1.1 is quite large uh, start off with 0 0.6 decay time try that out and see what you can do but really definitely mimic these settings and try them for yourself and after that man you know we've got this tape effect right here and it's just a flanger and as you can see these are the settings it's just a crazy sounding flanger but you could use the fruity flangers you could use the fruity flanger you could use the fruity uh, phaser even if you want to give that a try but um it's pretty simple you know what i mean we're just going to slap a flanger on there and then i just would like you to uh, try you know what I mean finding a spot now you know this is a unique example where I've used quite a bit of the effect but generally even if you are kind of done with your mix and you just want a little bit more smoothness try just add in uh, four percent you know what I mean and that really might help your sound and again uh, this is a trick I learned from Alex Tume who had uh, put two of these air plugins after each other I prefer the Korg but I think he had used the Fruity Flangers, I mean the, the air flanger and then the air chorus uh, on 21 Savages, Savage Mode. Um, you know what I mean? Most of the vocals had this effect chain going on. And you could really hear how the vocals just kind of smoothen and kind of fall back into the track, giving you that really nice sound. So, you know, that's pretty much the trick I wanted to show you. Simple and sweet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Definitely go and slap this onto your mix post-EQ, post-compression, uh, just to really help you get that sound. So if I was to quickly just enhance everything so you can kind of hear exactly what's going on behind the scenes uh, we'll kind of do that quickly money calling on me i got hella racks louis gucci yeah i bought my girl a gucci bag i'm still flexing on my ex look at all these packs jerking and finessing i might just fly out to france fuck a deal but you know i keep a major though sipping lean in the coupe r.i.p dj screw damn i miss my friend r.i.p diego running to the cash yeah we need like a rainbow 
So hopefully you can, you know, play the track back um, on YouTube and uh, just listen to the differences of how kind of monoed in the vocal sounds. And then once disabled, we kind of get this kind of widened sound and it's really beautiful. Uh, something else I just realized again, man, Easy EQ, definitely pick this up on my web store. There's a really cool plugin. Um, I should actually start using this again. I actually like the interface and, you know, it's, it's basically replicating my favorite EQ for those who know what that is. But uh, definitely check that out. Definitely check out the full FLP. Um, on the web store as well and uh, you know i hope you have a great day hope you're doing well i'll check out next time feel free to post comments below have a good day peace out